Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers, and we're up against Dominguez, and he had on this thing not for fun. So we're not playing for fun right now at all. Uh, but we can't keep this hand. We can definitely keep this one, though. Ah, uh, but what to drop? Hmm. Choices. Uh, don't really want to let go of anything. I guess I can let go of Sentinel. It is a good body, but I want to have that turn one play and then just go Lord, Lord, then refill. Yeah, we'll get rid of Sentinel for now. We'll see how this goes. Oh, my screen is all wonky from the last time we played. There we go. An Ash Barons, huh? Well... We'll use you eventually, but not yet. And he chose red with his thriving isle, and he's playing Tron. No wonder he said not for fun, because Tron is no fun, unless we're playing mono green, which he's not. So, we're just going to drop our lords and try to race. And get in here. Oh, what's he got? You going to kill a creature? All right, sure. Already starting with the abrades. That's fine, that's fine. Double Urza's Tower. That's a pretty good sign, actually. He lets that one through. We're going to go in. Alright, no more braids. For now, he's going to search his uh, library here. Uh, look at the top four. Yep, put one of them in your hand. Rest into the graveyard. And they got a flashback. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, the fun's a Tron. He dumped two Mull Drifters and an Urza's Mine. He's got a Cave of Temptation. Alright, that's fine. Let's diversify our Lords. He lets it through. I'm just waiting for him to, you know, start countering stuff. But maybe he's not running a lot of counters. We'll use our Ash Barons, grab ourselves a mountain. Pulse. Alright, gain six life, return land. So they're going to get their mine. Slowly but surely, they're trying over here. Looks like they're going to tap out, which is nice for us. They're just going to play a Mully D for full price. Uh, they're going to need that blocker, that's for sure. Let's grab our mountain. Another winding way is pretty good here. So let's go ahead and just drop down a Lord. Get some refill. Creature. Sounds good to me, bro. Swing in for eight at least. But they're just going to take it all, go to five. Turn has been passed. Can they pull off the stoppage? Can they pull off the fog? Hand full. Full hand. I haven't seen anybody play with the new uh, Double Masters Tron cards yet. But those things are sick, man. Those things are really cool. Impulse, alright. Cool artwork on that one, too. Is that Jaya? Is that her name? Jaya? Bellard or something? Did he find his Tron piece? Or are we going to go to game two? We're going to go to game two. Bladeback. Pyroblast. What else do we want in this matchup? Uh, let's see. Do we want Gleeful, actually? I don't think we absolutely need Gleeful. We need a Flaring Pain. Take out Striking. Take out Hunter. We'll leave in Heart. I think Heart is still good here. kind of want all my Gem Hides because... 
We're going to need to make sure we have the mana up for that. Take out a Sidewinder. Yeah, we could take out a couple Sidewinders. What else can we dump here? Sentinel, not as relevant. Yeah, we can get rid of the Sentinels. We're on two Bladebacks, two Flarings, two Pyros. Sure. All the sideboard tech for, for Tron here. Oh, I can't keep this. No, I can't keep this. We'll keep this, but I'm not really happy about it either. Uh, I, I don't want to dump any of this stuff. I guess we'll dump a Viverlint. Keep our Lord. See what happens from there. Same start from them. We're going to get a plated down. Just give me a forest here. Okay, that's not exactly what we're looking for. I want to hang on to this Pyroblast, though, just in case, you know. Gem hide's good. We just need a way to get it down. We'll try to play our Lord out here. It goes through. No abrade this time. We got one more shot here to get our forest so we can really start cranking. Them tapping out is good. They're getting the Bonders ornament down. Come on, forest. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. That's really rough. I mean, we're putting damage on them, but this is not what you like to see. We're giving them a lot of time here. They don't have Tron yet, which is good. They're going to go dig in a little bit more. Looks like Mull, Mully D. Yep, Mully D coming down. Full price, Mully D. Oh my gosh. It's sad. It's sad. You hate to see it. Man, I, I would love to just be going off here. If we just had that forest, we'd be so set. I mean, they're not getting their Tron yet, which is crazy to me. Getting everything but their Tron. Double Bonders Ornament is not good, though. All right, gain some life, sure. We can still attack into that. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. The mana screw is real. They're just gonna take this one, all right. We'll go to 12, see how many lone missionaries they have. Impulse. Five cards. Playing a plant. They got their Tron. Prophetic Prism coming down. Draw a card. Let's see what they can play here. They're just passing. Bit concerning. Oh boy. That's not good. We're going to keep trying here, but uh, four cards in hand. I'm wondering what they have. We're about to discard the hand size with all this crap. They just got more digging tools. They're just going to keep drawing with their bonders. It's not looking pretty. This looks like a pulse. Yep, yeah, pulse for Molly D. Which means they can double block our Lord. Yup. Okay. Wow, well, it is about freaking time. I um, haven't seen any counter spells yet, so we're just going to try to put this down and see if we can crank a little bit. If this resolves, we're in decent shape. Nope, it's not going to. We got one more, though. Yep. All right. Pass the turn. We'll try again next turn. Once we get him down, we can start emptying a little bit faster, but uh, not pretty. What do you got here? 
Oh, did you miss choose a color? Yeah, it looks like you did. Crop rotation. Going to get some more stuff. Probably another tower. Yep. Bonders ornament. Yep. Handful of goodies. It's going to be hard. We really got to make sure this gem hide comes down. I think the best play for us would be a bait. Um, either one of two things. Uh, we need another land. We need another forest or we need a mountain. If we get another forest, we can at least lead with like a juicy muscle sliver or something, get them to counter it, and then try to go for the gem hide. If we get a mountain, then we can go for the gem hide and counter something with the pyroblast at least. They're going to attack in for a little bit. It's fine. Looks like they might have another one or something. They got to have another creature here, right? Yep, there's the Ulamog. Cool. And the Mully D. Yep, they just popped off like crazy. But good news is they're pretty tapped out now. So... I think we're in the clear... All right, so we're going to be sacking two lands. We're going to get rid of the two planes. I think we just need to put down some lords while we can. Get a decent board set up. If we need to start destroying their mall drifters, uh, we will. Ephemerate the Mall Drifter, get more stuff. We're going to take the 8 from Ulamog. We're going to sack two planes. So what are we taking, like 12, potentially, if they want to start swinging in with Mall Drifters? Yeah, this is going to be it's going to be tricky. We're going to get some more life, go to 18. Tron for days, man. All right. Yeah, they're they're going in here. By the lands. Just going to take it here. We'll start chump blocking next turn. Don't you dare put down another one. Oh, they're just going to burn me out. Burn me out. Did you find your rolling thunder? Drop it. All right, game three. That was a struggle. Uh, we definitely could have won that one if we had our, our lands right. Maybe we don't need the flaring pain. What could be better here? Because we're not seeing a lot of fog from them. We're not seeing any fog from them. So what about a swift response for an Ulamog? Could go swift response for an Ulamog. Spinneret for the Mullies. Take out flaring, take out blade back, swift response. One, one, one. Sure. I don't know. They're, uh, I'm not familiar with the newer versions of Tron that people are running. If they went away from the fog game plan, they still on the ephemerate game plan, but not seen any of the other stuff. Yeah. I want to play first. Oh, man. Struggle's real. Uh, I don't want to keep this, but we get one more land and we can start doing things, so I'll keep it. Cancel. <laughs> that was sketchy. We're getting rid of plated. <laughs> Do not want to get rid of my only land. 
All right, let's just hope for the best here. I mean, we can we can get on the grind with double double vivalence if they don't have any removal. That could definitely put a clock on them. So, uh, but if we get one more land, we should be in good shape. In the meantime, start gunning for the poisonous kill. See what he can do about it. He chose green. Alright, we're definitely getting in for four poisonous next turn. Thank goodness, man. Alright. Yeah, let's put down the gem hide. Let's still swing. Pressure that poisonous. Go. Refills and another gem hide. We did it. We got him. Woo, that was a good one. That was a fun one. Uh, let's see what our next draw would have been. Another forest. Predatory, predatory. Oh, that would have been a terrible winding way if we'd went for it. But hey, we did it. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Leave a like on the video if you did. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to be having some more slivers in the week here. I think we're going to be doing some more Pioneer slivers for Wednesday. And then we'll be back at it with some more Naya on Friday. So subscribe, leave a like, and we will see you guys in the next video.